Brandon with Aquatics Galore. We've got the Neptune Grow here. If you guys go in our store, you're going to see that there isn't anything Neptune we don't have. We just absolutely love these products. We used to sell the Kessel Grow, which is a really, really nice light. But uh, when you're talking about a $450 price point to grow macro algae, you're really going to love this guy. This guy does uh, just as good of a job. It hooks to the Apex controller system, so you can monitor it all from the dashboard. We're going to open this guy up and show you what all it comes with. If you guys have used the grow light and different plant lights for growing macroalgae, we'd uh, like to hear your guys' input on uh, what you guys like and why. Macroalgae is something we feel is very important. It helps pull nutrients out of the tank. And not only does it pull nutrients out of the tank naturally, and it's not different chemicals and stuff you got to keep adding or different media you got to keep replacing, but it grows and then it's something you can feed back to the fish. And one of the healthiest things you can feed your fish is something live before it's processed. So um, it's very important for your system. And there's so many different options out there. Tell us your guys' thoughts on what you think is the best. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. It's nice that it comes with the gooseneck too. It makes it uh, really adaptable for where or how you set it up on your system. It comes with absolutely everything you need. And it is nice that it is standalone, so you don't have to have the whole Apex system, but we definitely recommend it. All right, guys. Another sticker, whatever you want to do with that. Ours go in the trash. But you can mount it to your center brace underneath your tank. You can mount it to your acrylic sump, flex it around, or anywhere you want down in the stand, uh, your back brace, and have it come around. For some sumps, there isn't an area really for you to put macro except for where the water comes in and it's tumbling. So you can even mount it and set it against the side of your acrylic. Uh, just leave a little gap, uh, put it on the side. You can have tumbling chato in there. But we try to set all our sumps up to where it's over top with all our macro in a nice huge section. So make sure to like and share this video and let us know what you think. Thanks a lot.